Hey guys, it's the start of a brand new week and that means it's Money Mondays brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. A new week means it's the perfect time to get a head start on making some money. And guess what? You might have a big opportunity this very week as early as tomorrow. Let me give you a little inside information. Mayberry Investments, lead broker for Wigdon Wind Farms upcoming IPO, is having a breakfast briefing about Wigdon tomorrow morning. That's Tuesday, April 9th. And guess who's the guest speaker? Prime Minister Andrew Holness. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's going to use the occasion to finally announce the highly anticipated IPO, which is to be the biggest in Jamaica's history. Now, for those of you who are new to this, if you don't know what I'm talking about or what an IPO is, check out last week's edition of Money Mondays for everything you need to know about IPOs. And if you haven't opened your investment account yet, like I'd advised you previously, I suggest you jump on that right away. Contact an agent at Proven Wealth. They're an authorized selling agent, and it's going to make the process that much smoother once the IPO is launched. Okay, so ahead of the announcement, I want to prepare you for what to expect and what you should be looking out for in the prospectus. What is the prospectus? It's the document that outlines the details of the initial public offer. It will include the share price, the number of shares they're selling, and importantly, what the company plans to use your money for. It will be published on the Jamaica Stock Exchange's website, jamstockex.com, when it's out. On the last couple of pages, you'll find the application form. So you'll download the prospectus from the website, print out those couple of pages, fill them out, and take them to your broker to apply for the shares. But before you make that decision to invest, first, you really should actually read the prospectus, all of it. And I know it might, like, it might look like a lot, and perhaps you won't understand everything. That's why you have me. So there are some key things that you need to pay attention to in the prospectus. First is the business overview. What does the company do? What service do they provide? How long have they been operating? What are the drivers of their business? Those are the types of questions you need answers to. Next, look at the governance structure. Who's in charge? Both the board and the management team should comprise of a variety of personnel who are familiar with the industry in which a business operates. Importantly, you want to look at how they plan to use the funds they raise from the IPO. What's their business plan? And why do they need your money? For that, you turn to this section called Use of Proceeds. Now, this should be very specific. If a company wants your money, you should know why. In this section, they'll also have their business plan. Here, they're essentially pitching the company to you, and they need to convince you fully that they need your money, and in return, you will benefit from giving them your money. Next, you need to look at the industry and the outlook. You need to know that there's a future for this company, along with a future for this industry. And I can tell you the industry and the outlook for Wigton are both very positive, as the government has stated a commitment to increase the country's use of renewable energy to 50% by 2030. So there's much room for Wigton to expand. Now, of course, you also want to look at the company's historical performance. Examine the financial statements, look at the operating margin and the profit margin, as well as how much debt they have, because you wouldn't want to invest your money in a company that isn't profitable or has a debt burden that's unsustainable. And then, of course, look at the risk factors. Whatever risks face that company will also face you as a shareholder, because remember, it is your money. And now to the actual offer. How much do the shares cost? Are they a fair value? For that, you need to assess the price to earnings ratio, but I'll have to explain that one probably next week. Also take note of the opening and closing dates for the offer. Even though a particular date will be listed for the offer to open, you definitely want to get your application in well before that, so that when the offer does open, you're already standing in line because many of the recent IPOs have closed on the same day that they opened. So if you wait until the day, chances are you'll be too late. So guys, turn on the post notifications on my IG page so that you're the first one to know when the prospectus drops. That's it for Money Mondays, but before we go, let me give you your Digicel credit giveaway. Go voucher number 39323576327733.
Good luck. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week.